Todrick Hall. I'm beginning to like him more and more. I saw his video of like that Peaks to Delivery video where he sings Disney songs. I think it was a Disney song. It was like well choreographed and the Pizza guy was like wondering what the fuck, even though, you know, they talked to him beforehand, before the video to tell him what was going on. But it's still, his reaction was pretty funny though. And everybody's like, was on key, like coming out of the woodwork and then just leaving. And as soon as the moment where he slammed the door, everybody just leaves at the exact moment. That was a pretty good choreography. But yeah, that was a good video. Go watch that video. The, the Pizza Del I think it was his second video on YouTube. But anyway, what's better than Todrick Hall? Him teaming up with Superfruit. Mitch and Scott, the best ones. Not the best ones, but they're awesome. Also, Abby, Kirsten, and Kevin. I almost forgot Kevin there. They're amazing, but Superfruit is pretty cool too. They're all good. What am I fucking am I talking about? Anyways, today, Improv Song Challenge with Superfruit. Let's start this shit. What's up, everybody? It's Todrick, and today I'm doing probably the most anticipated collab of my entire life. My favorite two people in the entire world. I'm not talking about Beyonce and Blue Ivy. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Scott Wayne and Mitch yeah. Rossi. Today we're playing this game that is probably going to be terrible, but I just want you guys to watch us play it anyway because, um, what's your name? <laughs> I did this video at Burger King where we went back and forth singing the, the you have to watch it to understand, roll the tape. I went to Burger King just yesterday and the day before. I didn't see that one. I saw the one where he went to McDonald's as his crew. And I don't know why we thought it, it was a good idea when we were just about to turn and no one cared and it looked like we were literally my god, these annotations. <laughs> Fuck you. Ah, <laughs> no, the cotton challenge, bro. <laughs> so today we're going to do it in HD. We're going to try to write songs given to us by the lovely people. Oh, the answer. It's over here. Okay, thank you. How do you love I love so Pony. Uh. We're going to be singing songs that don't even exist. They're going to be suggestions from people on the internet, on Twitter. We're going to be making up the lyrics impromptu, but each one of us has to contribute to the song. Why is Mitch Grassy so attractive? I feel like that. Yeah. Yeah. Where do we yeah. begin? <laughs> okay, let's just start. Just start with the line. Okay. Okay. I'm just asking. Where? He says he sort of does have the feminine voice going on. <laughs> Netflix and chill. I cannot use that sentence ever again with my female friends. I used to say that all the time. It actually meant Netflix and watching Netflix and just chilling. Not the other shit that's been going on now. 
I can no longer say that to them. Like, hey, you want to go Netflix and chill like usual? They'll just look at me. He's like, no. And then I have to go like, oh right, it's a different meaning now. Motherfuckers, destroying that word. And then Netflix and chill, no longer the same way again. Netflix and chill, Netflix and chill, Netflix and chill, Netflix and chill. I'll take the bill if we Netflix and chill. I said Netflix and chill to my gay buddy one time, okay, and he just looked at me and like, bruh. Okay, no, I don't go that. No, I go like what? And he finally goes like, oh, wait, you actually meant chilling, right? And I go like, yeah. What did you think I meant? Then he explained to me where this Netflix and chill came from. Oh, so embarrassed. I don't know whether to be uh, uh, offended that my gay buddy didn't even want to go Netflix and chill with me. Should I be happy or offended by that? I don't know. Can I get a milkshake? Make it strawberry. Can I get a bun? I said, I'm going to go in an extra chair. That is a French fries. Girls. We are Texas girls. I like that. Oh, so, so he is gay then. If he calls himself a girl, I guess. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, totally. Is it is it that how the rules go? <laughs> is there a gay rule? I don't know. I gotta ask my gay friend about that. He's gonna punch me so hard for asking him that. <laughs> himself okay I'm not even gonna question that Todd recall on why he has a cone on his head it just makes him him which is makes him more awesome and he's holding a uh, glazed donut not a glazed donut a sparkly donut whatever the fuck it is the sprinkles and shit I sure know this shit since I have Tim Hortons in here in Canada we know we should we Canadians should know this crap we should know hockey and fucking donuts from Tim Hortons. That's what we're known for. And our beer. There we go. Fucking dexterity in my hands there. Yeah. 
the hockey, the donuts, and the beer. That's what we're known for. But yeah, that's an amazing video by Todrick Hall and Superfruit. Pretty fucking amazing. Anyways, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. Vivir así.